I've said it before, but I'll say it again. The air fryer is just like the oven, except it cooks things in almost half the time. And that's definitely the case with today's recipe for this air fryer salmon. Thanks to the circulating hot air, the fillets are going to be cooked to tender and flaky perfection in just eight minutes. Oh yeah, and I'm London and you are watching Evolving Table, where we make healthier and sometimes faster spins on classic recipes. So let's jump straight in and get to cooking. This recipe makes enough for two five to six ounce fillets, but feel free to double the recipe if you're serving three to four people. You can use whatever type of salmon you prefer, but my personal favorite is Rilasso salmon. It's got just the right amount of fat while still being firm after cooking. Cut a 10 to 12 ounce piece of salmon into two equal sized fillets. You can choose to remove the skin at this point, but I find it's much easier to take the skin off after it's done cooking. Now for this marinade. I usually use some combination of all of these ingredients when I'm cooking chicken, seafood, or even roasted vegetables. It's so good and I normally have all of these ingredients on hand. To make it, you'll wanna grab a large bowl and add one tablespoon of oil, Avocado is my preference since it has a higher smoke point. One tablespoon of honey. One tablespoon of Dijon or yellow mustard. Two teaspoons of soy sauce. A gluten-free tamari or even coconut liquid aminos can be used. One finely minced clove of garlic. One fourth teaspoon of paprika. And one fourth teaspoon of salt to taste. Whisk this all together until it's smooth and well combined. Add the prepared salmon fillets to the marinade and toss until they're well coated. Leave the fillets flesh side down if you still have the skin intact and marinate in the refrigerator for at least 20 minutes or up to one hour. When you're ready to cook them, preheat a six quart air fryer to 400 degrees for at least three minutes. It's super important that this gets to the correct temperature before you add those fillets in. Once heated, spray the basket with nonstick cooking spray and place the salmon fillets skin side down onto the grate. Cook the salmon for seven to nine minutes depending on their thickness. Halfway through, brush any remaining marinade over the salmon for that extra bit of flavor. And there's no need to worry about any harmful bacteria here. Any of that will be cooked off before it's done. You'll know the salmon is ready when the edges are browned and it flakes easily with a fork in the thickest portion. Serve the salmon immediately with a squeeze of additional lemon juice and a sprinkle of fresh parsley. Gotta get a big whole bite here. Mmm, 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 mmm. That salmon is so perfectly tender and juicy and flaky. And that flavor, guys, it is off the charts. But I can't wait to hear what you think, so be sure to let me know. And if you want to round out your meal, then you've got to check out these simple side dishes right over here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next one.